this is just a, a brief talk about uh, one question that comes up in the occasional genericity case, which is what is the relevant time period for assessing genericity? Is it now or is it when the mark was granted protection? Uh, there are at most three cases when a court has allowed a company to reclaim a trademark after it's been held generic. Singer for sewing machines, found generic in the 19th century for sewing machines. Goodyear for tires. Uh, and arguably Opry for grand old Opry. Uh, in no case has a term that's been born generic uh, allowed to be appropriated by a single source. Um, the possibility of genericide means that we do look at the present time and that makes sense with, because with genericity, the competitive concerns tend to outweigh the benefits of letting businesses have certainty about their rights. However, we also do look at the time of registration, which can create an independent barrier that will be hard or perhaps impossible to overcome because of the policy of allowing anyone to withdraw a generic term from the public domain. One court held that Windows might well have been generic at time of adoption, which would make its mark void from the beginning. Microsoft settled that case um, and thus uh, still claims Windows for graphic user uh, uh, interfaces. Another court more recently dealt with an interesting related situation. Uh, so fire cider uh, is generic for a type of herbal remedy, uh, but only known within the herbalist community. The plaintiff registered fire cider and started promoting its herbal product among the general population. The court found that when the plaintiff began using the term, the product only had limited appeal and was generic to the subset of people who knew who, what it was. So the plaintiff could not appropriate it and popularize it as a mark. Um, you can consider whether you think this makes sense and whether it uh, makes sense in relation to rules about foreign words that are brought into the US like the name for a type of sake. Uh, so thanks and I'll see you in class.